Hi, this is James C2. Welcome back to the latest in our series of tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at updating icons on entities. In one of our previous videos, we looked at creating a new entity for our university, which showed courses. This is accessible from the service area, and we can see on the right hand side of the screen, we have the green icon for courses. Now let's say we're not happy with one, the green, and two, the actual icon. The one we have at the moment is the default one for any newly created entities. But we want to update that to reflect our own in-house brand. So how do we go ahead and do that? Well, we go to the settings area, and the first thing we're going to have to do is go to customizations, go to customize the system, or if you're making your customizations in a solution, you go to the solution and select it. And we first go to web resources. Now the reason we're doing this is we need to upload our icon so we can use it within our CRM. And it's done through web resources. So click new to create a new web resource. I want to call this my course icon. I want the display name to be the course icon. I could give it a description and I need to give it a type. Now our type is PNG because it's a PNG we're going to upload. Our language is English. With the choose file, it'll go to my C drive. I'll find my icon I wish to upload. Here it is. Now I need to save it and I also need to publish it before I can use this. Now that that is published, I can now go to my entity I look at the course entity and at the top of the screen you'll see a button which says update icons. We click this, a new pop-up window will open and I will define which icon I want to use on entity forms. So I will look for it. Here is my icon. I'll add that. I hit OK. Now, at the moment, our image is white and it will be on a green background, but we didn't want the green. So what I can do is I can put in the hexadecimal value for another color. There we go. There's one for a dark blue. So I shall save. Once it's saved, I'm going to publish. And when publishing is complete, if I go to my service area now, and here we are, our icon has updated, so has the background colour, and that is how easy it is to change your icons and your tiles within Dynamics CRM, so it can be customised to your requirements. Hope you've enjoyed the video, if you did please like it, even better subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you'd be interested in a free trial or any other aspect of Dynamic CRM please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.